Hi, I'm Susan Rutledge, and in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to add what we call noise to an object in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to be adding what you see here on my artboard, which gives depth to your objects and I think makes them a lot more interesting, and it's really a pretty simple process. So let's move to a blank document and get started. The first thing I want to do is grab a couple of panels. So I'll get the gradient panel and come back up to Window and down to Transparency. Since I'm going to be using these panels, I like to have them open so I can get to them easily. Now I'll get the Ellipse Tool, Keyboard Shortcut L. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and the Option key, so I drag from the center out and I'm dragging out a perfect circle. And then I'll move over to the Properties panel. I'm going to give this a fill color that's kind of a yellowish green. And then I'll remove the stroke, get the Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut V, and we just have a standard yellow circle here. I need to make a copy of this circle, so I'll select it and use the Keyboard Shortcut Command C. And then to paste it in place, I'm going to use the Keyboard Shortcut Shift Command V. Now it doesn't look like anything's changed, but if I come over to the Layers panel and twirl this layer open, you can see I have the original lips and the copy. Now the copy is selected, it's in front. I'm going to move to the Properties panel and I'm going to change the color. So I'll click on the Color Fill icon and choose a dark green. And then with the dark green selected, I'll come to the Transparency panel and click Make Mask. And then I'm going to Uncheck Clip. And then instead of working on the object layer, I'm going to click on this second white square, which is the mask layer. Once I click here, then I need to add a rectangle that's going to cover my circle. So I'll get the rectangle tool, keyboard shortcut M, and just drag a rectangle after I do that, I'll move to the Gradient panel, and under Type, I'm going to click on this Center Radial icon. The darker color is on the inside, and the lighter color is on the outside, but I want to reverse that, so I'll come over to the Transparency panel and click Invert Mask. That's looking really pretty good right now, but we want to give it a grain effect as well. So I'll get the Gradient tool for the artboard with the keyboard shortcut, G. Now we have this little tool that we can manipulate. You can see this little diamond right here? If I drag it to the right, this makes the center color more prominent to the edge. If I drag it to the center, the opposite occurs. It takes the darker color and builds it towards the center. I'm going to move this to the right a little bit, and I think that's looking pretty good right here. And once I have it where I want it, I'm going to add an effect. So I'll come up to Effect, down to Texture, over and down to Grain. Now when your panel opens up, you may or may not see the word Grain under Cancel. If you don't see that, you'll have a lot of other choices, which it might be, but just open the pull-down menu and choose Grain. Then for the intensity, I'll leave that at 100% and the contrast at 100%. And under grain type, there are even options here. And you can play with those, but I'm going to leave this for now setting on soft. And then say OK. Then I'll get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V and deselect this. Now if you want to play with the color a little bit, select that layer. Get the Gradient Tool again, Keyboard Shortcut G, and you can just drag this around and move it wherever you want. You can even adjust the transparency, but I kind of like this just the way it is. So I'll get the Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut V, and click on the artboard to deselect it. Now because I've been working in the Mask layer, I'm going to have to move back to the Object layer before I can do anything else on the artboard. So I'll click back here on the Object layer, and then finally, I've got to select both the Mask and that back ellipse. So I'll drag over both of these, and once they're selected, I'll group them, Keyboard Shortcut, Command, G, and click on the artboard to deselect that, and that is all there is to it. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you'll have fun playing around with the different settings to adjust gradients to exactly what you want for your project. And before I go, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future tutorials. And I'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye now.